In this video, I'm going to cover ACT math problems that deal with winning percentages. And this one says the Warren High School basketball team currently has a record of six wins, five losses, and zero ties. Was the least number of its remaining 15 games must the team win to finish the season winning more than 70% of all its games. Now the basic formula we're going to use for all these problems is, you know, how many games that they won divided by the total number of games that they played. All right, but the key here is to come up with the equation in order to solve for the unknown. Okay, so so far we got six wins. We want to know how many more wins they need. So that's going to be our unknown X. So the total number of games, they played 11 games so far. And they got 15 more to go. We want that average to be at least 70% or 0 0.7. All right, so once we have our equation, we can solve for X. So that's going to be 6 plus X. Bottom is going to be 26. Can multiply both sides by 26. Gives me 6 plus x equal to 18.2. And then subtract 6 from both sides. So x equals 12.2. So they need to win at least 12.2 games. So here, be careful not to just round down to 12. Because if you do 12, that won't be enough games. So you actually got to round up to 13 so that the average would be above 70%. If we had 12, it would be slightly under 70%. So the correct answer would be 13. So this one says, so far this season, Shaq has made 60 of his 140 free throws giving him a free throw percentage of 42.9%. What is the minimum number of free throws he needs to make from now on in order to have a free throw average of at least 50%? So this one is basically asking you, you know, how many in a row he needs to make in order to make his average go up to 50%. So again, we start with our basic formula, how many won over the total number of games. In this case, it'd be, you know, how many shots that he made, 60. Plus how many more he needs to make, X. And he's already shot 140 of them. And the total has to increase by X also. And then we want his average to be 50% or 0 0.5. And that's just a 50% divided by 100. Okay, so we're going to multiply both sides by 40 plus X. It's going to cancel the denominator and multiply it on this side. And give us 60 plus x equals 0 0.5 times the quantity 140 plus x. Okay, so that's 60 plus x. I'm going to distribute the 0 0.5. Okay, so 0 0.5 times 140 is 70. And 0 0.5 times x is 0 0.5x. Then I want to get the x's to the same size, so I subtract 0 0.5x from both sides. And I'm going to subtract 60 from both sides. This will give you 0.5x, 1 minus 0.5, and 70 minus 60 is 10. And then the x by itself, I divide by 0 0.5. That gives me x is equal to 20. Okay, so he needs to make 20 in a row. If he does that, his average will go up to 50%. 
And this one says, the Lake County Sentinels have won 45 games so far this season. If they win all the remaining 20 games, they will have a winning percentage of 68.4. How many games total would they have played? So again, we start the formula, how many games they win over the total games played. So we know they've won 45. We're going to win the remaining 20. Okay, we know they won 45, but we don't know how many games they played to get the 45 wins. So that's going to be our X. And they're going to be the additional 20 games. And that's going to be their winning percentage of 0 0.684. Okay, so I'm going to multiply both sides by X plus 20. And then 45 plus 20 is 65, so 65. And then 0 0.684 times x is 0.684x. And then 0 0.684 times 20 gives you 13.68. I'm going to subtract that from both sides. That gives me 51.32 equal to 0.684x. I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.684. That's going to give me x is equal to 75. So the original number of games that they played to win the 45 games was 75 games. If they win the additional 20 in a row, that average would come out to 68.4. So this one says, before the All-Star break, Penny made X three-point shots out of 20. If he makes his next 10 attempts, he will have a three-point percentage of 53.3%. How many did he make before the All-Star break? So again, we need to have our unknown. Our unknown is how many he made before the All-Star break. And if he makes his next 10, then the total would be 20 plus the 10 to give us 30. And the three-point percentage would be 0 0.533. Okay, so multiply both sides by 30. This is x plus 10. Equals 15.99. I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. And x equals 5.99 or 6 games. So answer choice E. So our unknown here was how many that he actually made before the all-star break. We're using the variable X for that. And then he made an additional 10 attempts after that. If he made all additional 10, then his percentage would be 53.3%. So we set up that equation and then solve for X. And this one says the West Lake Bulldogs have won 10 out of 17 games. There are 15 games left in the season. What is the maximum number of the remaining games can they lose and have at least a 50% winning percentage for the season? So again, we need to set up a, an equation. So currently they won 10 games. They played 17. They're going to play 15 more. So we add that to our total. And we want to know the maximum number that they can lose of those 15. So what we put on top is going to be 15 minus x, for x is how many games they're going to lose. And the difference between the 15 and how many lose would be how many they win. So we can use 15 minus x to represent that. And that's going to equal 0 0.5. Okay, so that gives us 10 plus 15 minus x over 32. We go to 0 0.5. 
We multiply both sides by 32. I'm going to use 10 plus 15 minus x is equal to 16. 10 plus 15 is 25. So 25 minus x equals 16. Then I'm going to subtract 25 from both sides. That's going to give me negative x is equal to negative 9. And we need a positive x value, so we'll multiply both sides by negative 1. And it gives x equals 9. So they can lose a maximum of 9 games and still have a winning percentage of 50%. So answer choice, C.